to Pocket Pod, Animal Crossing. Brando needs cheese to leaven. Episode one two seven. There's Joey, Bowie, Ryan, and Leash. Always a good one. I just realized with the lag on the Zoom, were you able to follow this at all? It fixed itself at some point in the last few minutes. Okay. So. Oh, good. <laughs> I was yeah. just like, I was like, sheer panic. I'm like, oh my gosh, we didn't even yeah. think about that. Nope, that would have been okay. roof. <laughs> it sounded great. I felt like, I mean, Perfect. admittedly, there's the delay, but it sounded great even with the delay. It was like a super good. slight round. <laughs> <Beautiful>. <laughs> Chef's kiss. Chef's kiss. It's like row, row, row your boat. <laughs> maybe yes. Life maybe is the, the Zoom delay creates better content and not worse. Who knew? Oh. I don't that's true. No. No, it, <laughs> no, it's good. It fixed itself. We're fine. We're fine. Leash questions that. But it's out there. The truth, it's out there. The truth is definitely so, out there. Bow, 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 bow. <laughs> <laughs> You guys thought you were tuning into an Animal Crossing podcast, but it's actually all about X Files. Well, welcome to Friends of X Files. <laughs> X Files Crossing Pocket Files. <laughs> yes, yes, there it is. I love it. This is the new content it's the we need. Spin-off. The spinoff podcast. Oh, you know yeah, what? Pocket. That would actually, if if we ever want to stop with Animal Crossing, I have never watched an episode of X Files. Ooh, so every this, episode. This would be like another Joe, I love Joey Boy knows nothing going in, spooper, and then I become spoopy. the crazy expert. So good. It's so <laughs> much fun. Some that were really spoopy for me as a child. There, mm-hmm. there were definitely some. I was not too much of a child, and I remember being spooked by them. I was, I was, I was a, very a young adult. And as with any scary thing that was scary for a leash, I always had to watch till the end. Like I had to know <gasps> what happened. Otherwise <sighs> I'd have bad dreams. Oh, you need the conclusion. Because my brain would the be resolution. trying to solve Closure. what happened yes. and it was not good. It's Ugh. not a good scene. So I no. had to watch even though I was scared. Oh, because knowing sense. helped it. Yes, yeah, but, it does Well, at least sense. you knew what helped because I just would avoid as I do. <laughs> <laughs> I like, I may have watched half an episode once and went, I don't, I don't, I don't want to watch any more of this. It was, it was, it was creepy. It was, it was probably like a really like creepy alien episode, like worms sure. or something weird. Yeah. Something yeah. that was not for the me. Fluke, the fluke monster was the one that really scared me. Ooh, I don't remember the fluke monster. I didn't, I haven't monster. seen all the X-Files episodes. So, but that I would be, I would drains. definitely be down don't for like it. Watching those jams. Well, we, we just got our watches. sister podcast, po- Pocket sister Files. Sister podcast. You heard, <laughs> you heard it here, guys. Pocket Files. An oh. Animal Crossing podcast. Can the K podcast. look like an X? <laughs> what? Can the K look, or the T look like an X? So it'll pocket. be Pocket, pocket, pocket Files. Pocket Files. <laughs> pocket. You could do it like uh, the Greek k- Kai letter, which is like an X, and it makes the K sound so it could be po- mm-hmm. no one will ever mix that up and call us poxix yeah never mind files. terrible idea it's a terrible idea <laughs> the own eaters the own eaters well, uh, <laughs> whoa oasis yes whoa oasis <laughs> baby right, we'll workshop it yeah we got this well i guess we can still talk about in this podcast talk about animal crossing and things right, yeah cool, right? yes mm-hmm. this was just Speaking a backdoor which- pilot we gave it a shot <laughs> We're totally done with pocket. I mean, Animal Crossing. It's uh, it's over. Just kidding. Just kidding. Never done with Animal Crossing. It's always in my heart. Not bored and yet. Not bored yet. Not. Bo- <laughs> uh, we do have some follow ups. Do we want to have a? Do we have a song for that? I don't want to wait for a for follow up. For a follow up. For a follow up. Follow up. Or a correction. Oh. Is it a correction this week? It might be a correction this week. Ooh, it's a correction. It's a correction. It the a first correction. one is definitely a correction. Yes. It's a correct follow-up. <laughs> it is correct. Yes, so that's, that is correct as well. This is full of correct things this week. Unlike last two weeks ago when the podcast, we had a lovely new contest announced that was for some amazing Blue Rose prizes. And I read that Hydra was the host, who is usually our um, quacking pants... McDuckenstein HR champion and stuff where you go when things get rough he's usually the host for the contest but it was actually our friend Pasu who was hosting that time yep. so our puddle Pasu, duck. my apologies and we really should have known 
because he was he was pe- he was pedaling pedals, and of course Aww. it was Pasu and not Hydro. But pedaling we just pedals. we just were but on yes. autopilot. It happens. <laughs> Yes. So my apologies, Pasu. We appreciate you ever so much. And I'm you sorry did. that I called out the wrong name. Hydro, you're still amazing, even though you weren't hosting. But Pasu, thank you so much. Um, and speaking of Pasu, since Hydro is retiring from the hosting of the contest, Pasu his, is his benequactoring. The yes, the benequactoring is going. <laughs> passing the, the mantle of benequactoring. He's passing to- the McDuck bucks. Ooh. I love it. Possuing. <laughs> He's possuing the McDuck Bucks to Pasu. <laughs> Pedal Duck Pasu. I'm so in. yes. Yes, it's 100 percent It's a winning winning combo. There's nothing wrong with this. It's perfect. Obviously. It was meant to be. Thank you, Hydro. Thank you, Pasu. <laughs> uh, so yes, that was one follow-up. That's delightful. Yeah. Uh, and Another follow-up that is not a – it's kind of a correction, but it was just – we didn't know. We were thinking for K.K. Slider's appearance that surely he was going to show up on Friday because we had an event – this was two weeks ago. We had an event on Saturday, which was the bug off, and we had Sunday, which was the last fireworks display. So we, This was everyone a week before. Thought, it was the second to last fireworks display. Oh, yeah. second to yeah. last. I'm sorry. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. So either way, still a fireworks display yeah. night. Uh, yeah. And we thought for sure he'd be showing up on Friday, but yeah, because that was his default show up before. On Friday. What's a Friday butt? <laughs> it's like a Saturday butt, but it's not quite as laid back. Oh, still, it's, it's getting ready for Saturday butt, but it's still yeah. Friday butt. Yeah, correct. <laughs> obviously, yeah. I mean, not like, obviously. Yeah. it's okay to ask. Prior okay to the to rejiggering of the of the vendor thing, yes. he was he was always coming on Fridays. That was like a thing, right? Or no? Well, if he didn't, if if there was a Saturday event, he, he would, would come on Friday. a Sunday. Sunday. No, bef- before the update, he would go Friday. Friday, when, really? When Saturday was was busy. I and, think that's and, all. I think that is correct. And then oh. they, when they updated like all the vendor schedules, they moved him to Sunday, wow, so I he wouldn't interrupt remember. the vendor schedules. But I think that's correct. Because of the two events, I don't know why they didn't just move him to Friday. That would have made just as much sense as Monday. But moving him to Monday was weird. (laughs) Because he had never. Yeah, he's such an end of week feels kind of guy, you know? A weekend friend. It's it's like the the thing you look forward to. It's hard to look forward to or unusual to have a Monday event to look forward to. Yeah. That's fair. Which I think that we should start the trend of having Monday events to look forward to. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm what's okay wrong with that? having a sweet Monday? First, event? Like Although, three day weekends are great on Mondays, as true. evidenced by Monday. I have to yep. say, I don't think it was. F- <laughs> yep. I think that why would KK? Yep. I feel like we should have been able to get a Gulliver or a Gullivar visit, or a Flick or a CJ a visit at the same time as a yep. KK concert. Someone that Can doesn't talk, require like, the plaza. Why is that a thing? Well, wh- wh- I don't. Wait, is that why? Wait, isn't there like a reason that Celeste can't be there on certain nights with the? Celeste, that's another thing. Celeste, if Celeste is, excuse me, if it's a Saturday that's clear, Celeste won't, and it's a usual KK visit, yeah. Celeste won't appear because yeah. she, Why? for some reason, I don't understand that either. So, yeah, because the logic not like she, sense. she doesn't need the plaza unless there's something that's going to come down the line that Celeste will be using the plaza. But in that case, why not just change it when that happens instead yeah. of making her not have... Because that what that also ends up doing, because I, th- I think that's something we learned while chatting through this in Discord this week, is if you miss your Celeste visit, like if she was supposed to come on a Saturday based on what your star schedule is, and then she can't come because there's an event, she just won't come that week. Like you've missed her for the week, which, mm-hmm. is, so weird. which is a real bummer. I haven't had Celeste in ages. By the way, I still don't have the Virgo uh, DIY because I have not seen Celeste since Virgo yeah, started. Yeah, so I haven't either. Need to need to go find her ASAP, by the way. Yes, I... I'll keep an eye out. I haven't seen her. I don't think I, I don't think I've had a clear have I had a, even had a clear night? I don't think I have. I haven't seen stars um, in a while. It's waning for me. Yeah. So I don't I know. Think I'm yeah. Expecting, but either way. Waning. Yeah, I'm expecting uh, they've a adjusted star showers soon. That's all. Star nice. showers That's in exciting. flight. Something something star shower flight. <laughs> Delight. But either way. Um I mean they have as you guys mentioned, and I and I learned today that they've adjusted the KK schedule already so the and and like for adjusting the special vendors schedules so there's a chance they could still fine-tune this and hopefully nintendo we know you're listening please make it so we can more readily get celeste yeah uh, and why not have a little more overlap with our vendor friends also when like when she really... is on your island just make her just a smidge easier to find because boy oh Ugh. boy 
Yeah, that's that one would of the be problems. Helpful. She just hides. I, mean, I love. I do love that you can. That it's exciting to see her, but it would be nice to have some indicator. I, oh, uh, shut I don't know up. what could we. Guess who's on my island, guys? Guess Celeste, who's on my island? Celeste on your island. She's right Celeste here. on your island. She's right here. Oh my gosh! I'm coming I'm over. Freak out. I'm, I'm gonna go panic panic freak out. And and there's gonna be stars in a few <laughs> minutes, so just come hang and go get some stars. I'm Are first gonna get my DIY and then I'm gonna go open my gates. <laughs> Please. Okay. Oh gosh. Uh, um. Sorry. Okay. I will still stay focused on our goals. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> What's new? I, I derailed um, us. Oh, I, I was just gonna oh, say. Oh, oh, um, that was follow up. Still, right? That, that yeah, we were still. Yeah, on we're, in, we're in stage one. <laughs> we're in stage one. We're in stage one. Okay, guys, everything's under control. Situation normal. Um. So here, I'll pop this guy out so I can see it. Okay. Ah, that didn't help me at all. Did I get the um, DIY? So I got it. Virgo harp. I did it. I did it, guys. Yay. Okay, I'm gonna go open my gate now. Joel, Sarah, you've while tell you're me. here. I'm going to give you 16 yes. tulips to take home with you. So make room in your Oh, pocket. let me empty Ooh, out my pockets. I can pockets. bring you some balloons. Oh, <laughs> yes. this? You guys, why host a podcast? We could just do this all day. <laughs> I know. Why are we Why are we doing this? Just kidding. We do just love kidding. having We love this. Times. And we hope we everyone do, we loves do, we listening do. And we're to excited. our trading. <laughs> we are delighted that anyone wants to listen to our shenanigans. So thank it's you so true. much for listening to our shenanigans. <laughs> um, so that's all for the follow up and now we can talk about what's new while you guys are getting sorted for yeah. um, arriving places yeah i will discuss talk about a little bit of um pocket camp stuff that's new you didn't oh, sing a song i know sorry what's new <laughs> pocket camp pocket camp whoa, 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 whoa. so yes better. um <laughs> delightful new things in pocket camp that we have um because right now i've got to say i'm still enjoying pocket camp i'm playing pretty regularly i know it's a uh, it, we'll talk a little bit more about that sometime, I think. Uh, mm -hmm. For There's currently a couple of things going on right now that are very exciting. We have the Celeste Cafe, Ginkgo Leaf Cafe type event that is incredibly cute. And I love ginkgo trees so much. Mm -hmm. And our host you for the do. event is Celeste. And can we, can we talk about Celeste's fashion for this event? Yes. Yes. She is wearing the cutest little beret and like a little wrap <laughs> combo. <laughs> <It's> so cute. <laughs> She will. It's it's such a perfect combination, and I am delighted. And I hope that there's a cosplayer out there. There's probably many out there who are already seeing this outfit and are like, "Well, there we go. That'll be perfect for my <laughs> variation on my existing Celeste cosplay." Because she's so <laughs> cute. But yes, so you're collecting uh, ginkgo maiden bugs. Shoot, I can't even remember what they're called. It's so funny oh how, I, how quickly are, I forget the names. Are they of the deedly blooper maiden bloops? apple apple butter butts? <laughs> apple butter apple, <laughs> apple butter <laughs> girls with the bum and shim and boots with the fur. <laughs> yes, um, that's what we're talking about. Uh, Pretty sure that's what you said. Pretty sure that's what happened. I, yep. <laughs> that was definitely what I said. No question. <laughs> uh, but yes, so you're getting items for her cafe and it's delightful there's ginkgo trees involved oh my gosh the terrain that's in there is amazing that you can get ginkgo like a beautiful golden ginkgo leaf carpet for camp for campsite ginkgo leaves all around ridiculousness it's, it's pretty so many pretty things yeah and there's also the new raymond uh like cookie that is filled with library goodness for any book reading fans so i know lo oh, is delighted by that and is already like, yeah revamped oh God, her lo. campsite in a beautiful way cookie books. yeah her cabin is a double decker library it's amazing wow mm. so cool. i think that oh, i think that's what cabin. it was i think it was yes. the cabin it makes sense because that makes the most beautiful space for a library. You don't want to have your library out in plain air. Actually, that is very pretty too, so don't get me wrong. It's a great look no matter where it is. But is it, You're going to like the way you feel. No, you're going to like the way you look. I you're guarantee like it. <laughs> also brought to you by Men's Wearers. Um, <laughs> Rest in peace, right? They're gone? Are they gone? Oh, <laughs> God. Did, are they, gone? He's, he's, he's did they not, not survive the, 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 the pandemic? Did they? Oh, maybe I'm making that up. I'm One of pretty them sure back in November, Nick had to get a suit from them. So maybe. Oh. I could they be might wrong. still be around. Where who, who can say? Oh, no. They're still around. <laughs> oh. Not rest in peace. Oh. <laughs> live, in live and prosper? Live long you and can prosper. Rest in a three piece. <laughs> <laughs> you can still I love it. I love like it. the way you <laughs> Nice. Rest nice. in peace. Uh. Oh, great. <laughs> It's amazing. But um, would you guys like to talk about what's new in New Horizons? To yeah. sail away? Yeah. Do I? Because those are the things that I play. Do, 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 do. Ha, ha. Sail away, New Horizons. Sail away. What's ha, new? Ha. I forgot how it goes. <laughs> it's great. Uh, we do have some great new things. One of the yeah. basic deals is 
new Reds prizes that now appear at Nook's Cranny, which is kind of yeah. cool. So you can get those items. Fire. That was that was a proper villains. little delight too, because I was like, la la la. But there's something new. They said they announced there was <gasps> something new, right? And so mm-hmm. I went I went to the little cabinet and I was scrolling down. And I was like, that's a balloon. I can get <gasps> balloons. That's a balloon. So you can replace oh, all the okay. balloons you but ran you with and lost. Yeah, you can't customize balloons, right? Yeah, so you'd have no. to wait for the. Oh, I wish yeah. you could customize them yeah. with special stickers. So yeah, like, like you get a put logo stickers on them. or like oh. draw a little face on it. Yes, oh, they're so uh, cute. <laughs> or 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 they could be the balloons that you can like turn into animals, like the the clown balloons. Like oh, the clown balloons. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That'd be nice. Super fun. Or those balloon hats that we enjoy so much that are ever so. Oh cute. yeah. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. But you could also <gasps> get. You other could make them into stuff. your favorite villager friend. <gasps> ah, that'd be I so can make fun. A stitches balloon. Yeah, oh a little teddy bear balloon. Mm. Uh, oh, I love it. I love it. Dream that would be sweet. great. Dreams, Insta dream sweet. Balloon sweet animals. <laughs> so nice. Yeah. And we. Yeah. what else happened? Um, the, with the turning of the month, we had a new amazing... Joelle, why don't you tell us your thoughts on that um, Nintendo's September video? <laughs> so... Tell us about it. So talk, talk Nintendo about, does this grand about. reveal of the of a new month, a new teaser video. And the last few times we've had these special videos, there's been like mind blowing updates. Fireworks was announced in the last one. Swimming was announced in the one before that. Oh, right. There's always something big in these videos. So I was I was ready. I was ready to hear about what the ready. fall what the fall events or exciting things feeling, are going to be. I have a feeling Halloween's going to be pretty big. Though. Oh, and maybe it will, and maybe that'll be the October video, and that's yeah, great. But yeah. but all they had to share <laughs> this in this in this cute little teaser video is, oh, look at all the new fish and bugs. And just a reminder, here's how to fish, in case you haven't figured it out in the last five months. <laughs> Thanks, yeah. Nintendo. Um, I was Don't forget surprised. to listen for the bloop. <laughs> uh, I was like, oh, that doesn't seem like newsworthy. I mean, I guess it's thanks. It's just not news. It's not news. It is... It is a helpful tip. <laughs> Save it for the podcast, Nintendo. <laughs> yeah, it was a, it was a or little bit Or better yet, <laughs> buy advertising with us. Oh. <laughs> yes. Yes. We have that a spot ready yep. for you. Ready, 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 ready we, waiting. That was a perfect teaser trailer to throw into our ad spot in our podcast. Why is it not yep. there? Because Nintendo didn't give us any money. Sorry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> missed out uh, well, that's, that's, that's Nintendo's loss oh, yeah. there's still time there's still time they can still make it happen for the future though I mean I don't want to shut them out if they no, want to give this a try if they want to do it we're available Nintendo. they can prove once and for all that they have been listening for the last two and a half years they can prove it that's we right. have tens of listeners <laughs> <laughs> and yes, they're all wonderful tens. every last they one of you we love you Nintendo. dearly yes oh, very much i remember A-plus. um side note um <laughs> several years ago um my rabbi was was trying to promote shofar lessons <gasps> before the that's the cool new year. <sighs> i mean yeah the new year um which to people who don't know what a shofar is, it's it's the the Rams horn, horn made from Rams a horn, horn <laughs> that makes the makes the, the yes makes song. a cool the trumpety sound. And blah, blah, blah. <laughs> anyway, um, and he's he was promoting, and he said, and we have tens of people signed up, and I started <laughs> laughing, Aww. but he was really serious. Yeah, like that was, that was a good like tens yeah. of people were like was great, that's, and I was it's like, a great oh, turnout. Boy, Leash, what you talking about? <laughs> Shouldn't have laughed there. I thought it was funny. Yeah. Oh, yeah. it was, it was a, cute, it's a cute little joke. Yep. Yeah. Oh, so I felt really. Bad. It delighted you. You thought, but you this were time supporting. you guys could have laughed because it was funny. That was meant to yes. be a joke. Yes, when I, I said was a it. joke. Right. If you didn't right. laugh, right. now we're telling you to laugh. It's it's safe to laugh. Ha-ha. <laughs> Yay! Awkward laugh time. <laughs> <laughs> Moving, lifting arms and showing people. Ha ha! Yes, this is fun. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, something that they also revealed in the video was pine cones and acorns. That's true. Which yes. is a great thing that's happening. That was the big reveal because I have not I have not seen one acorn or pine cone. Ah, oh. that sounds like something to talk about in the tips and tricks section of this Can't wait. podcast. Yeah, we're we're gonna get that's there. A teaser. But but I but yeah in, in the video at least like that was the one thing to get out of that video like I, I could have expected new fish and bugs I didn't really need the video to yes. tell me that but to, but to remind sure. me to shake trees helpful so yes that's like, good because that I, I, I stopped shaking trees a long time ago so helpful ah uh, and now you have a reason to shake them once again boy do never I. have I had my, so many are my trees broken no, no we'll, we'll talk, talk about, about it. it though 
<laughs> Let's talk about it. In a, we'll table that for now, and we'll circle back. Can I shake your trees, Joel? <laughs> uh, yeah, go go ahead, because bees will not come out if you shake them in someone else's. Oh, that's right. Whether so. you have guests over, no, that's a pretty sweet deal. Also, look up in the sky. Stars are definitely coming at some point soon. Oh, sky oh stars and, and stars. Celeste is on the front beach right by the airport. By the way. Oh my gosh, I can't. And Sarah, wait I'm, I'm going to drop off flowers over there too. Oh, I wanted to say, Joel, I have. I don't know if you saw. I have, so, I have so many. I really don't need them from you. I, I need to. I need to get rid of them. Okay. Okay. I'll take them, and I. I will, what, are you, uh, what are you getting rid of? Uh, for part, well, oh. a contest that we will talk about later. <laughs> oh. You'll just have to show, tell me where I can. I'm sorry, you did tell me, and I forgot what you said already. Oh. Oh. Uh, front Beach. Where You'll find them. Front Beach. Front where I am. Oh, and you anyway. sequestered Celester. I sure did. I, I Celestered. Yep. <laughs> I just said turd. That's what I said. <laughs> <laughs> I just said turd too. See? Anyway. Can't stop me. Anyway. <laughs> um, Can't stop the turds. Um, Sarah, there was something else what? that was new. Um, oh, the teaser also that new. came out today. Today's, teaser today's that Nintendo today. Direct. Oh. That, that had a teaser yes. in it. Yes. For the future. Yes. yes. For there was the, there was the Mario. Yes, it's 35 Mario. years of Mario. Which, Mario. by the way, makes me feel extra old. <laughs> Aww. That's right? Okay. 35 years you know means what? whatever plus. <laughs> <laughs> and whenever you feel old, remember, you're, there's always someone that thinks you're a young sprout. So <laughs> whenever you yeah, feel old, there's right. always someone older. That is very true. There's right. always someone to tell you that you know nothing. Jon Snow. <laughs> that you're just a child. Well, as yes. the youngest of 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 two brothers of three of us i will always f- forever feel young but at the same time I still feel old no. right now it is what it is just turned an, a new age it makes me feel old <laughs> oh no but um yes so the whole thing with mario there is a tie-in coming up uh we're not sure when it's going to be yet they didn't i don't think they did they say it, they, they didn't, didn't, say spe- they didn't day, specifically but we, say but we can expect they didn't say but it could be it might be like right around. You never know if it's going to. If we're going to wait for March tenth, which is Mario Day, mm-hmm. or maybe it's just going to Mario. be one of those events that's during this whole celebration. Because I believe their Nintendo's um, thirty-five year celebration of Mario intends to go until yeah. March. So it's going to be a yeah. long celebration, um, th- yeah, and we're going to be they, waiting for yeah. Mario furniture to pop up in Animal Crossing. Will it be a re- uh, like reappearance of the ones we've seen in Pocket Camp? Maybe will it be new stuff? We're going to have to wait and see. I can't wait. I want to get no. all the Mario furniture? Oh, be so That's great. a tradition going way back, way back, even to when, back when Wild World had it as a special item that you could go and visit the kiosks at Toys R Us and turn on your Wi-Fi <laughs> or your wireless connectivity with your Nintendo. What was that? The Game Boy Advance with the what's the Game Boy Advance? Oh no, it was the DS. It was the original DS. I always get that confused. Sorry, someone's going to correct me. Oh yes, yeah, the DS. I think yes. <laughs> This is a problem. I have a hard time remembering wee-oo, it. Wee-oo. <gasps> Call That's the police. the minutia alarm calling. <laughs> oh, my bad. <laughs> the minutia. It's time to Does step back unfair? into broad information territory. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Either way. It was a but, 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 but we're with you. It, this is a fun throwback to fun times in yes. previous versions of Animal yes. Crossing with Mario crossovers. And we are excited to find out what it is. And it yes. may or may not be yes. on or around March 10th, which is Mario Day and also my brother's birthday. And it's a very Super special exciting. day. That's right. Yes. For Jakar's birthday. So sweet. <laughs> I love that he can yeah. celebrate on the same day. It's the best. <laughs> Means I'll never Jakar forget his are. birthday. <laughs> That's awesome. That's a very helpful, like you would have a hard time remembering your brother's <laughs> birthday. You only have well, two brothers. I've never forgotten, but boy, does his birthday being Mario Day help just a little bit. <laughs> just <laughs> a smidge. Good. That's <laughs> awesome. Well, it makes it more fun yeah. for sure. It's a delight yeah. and a fun time. So we've covered our topics. Do you guys want to take a little break? Yeah, let's take a break. Take a I'm break. Take a little break and we'll get you after the jump. Ooh. Yeah, after let's drink some water. Ooh. I don't have any. Oh no! Oh no! I think we're back, but I don't know if Joelle might be drowning. It was nearly a spit take. (laughs) (laughs) Oh my My goodness! My producer is running on the treadmill, so he cannot get me my water. I know. You know, sometimes if I listen really carefully to the audio during our break, I can hear him running on the. (laughs) 
<laughs> you can oh, hear it, but then when we when when he he fixes it, you, no one can hear it. Oh, but during our break, you you can sort of hear him. I've heard him a couple times. So that's oh, a really? that's a note for anyone listening super closely Ooh. during our breaks. Raise the volume, see if you can hear a little little you know treadmill action. That's that's our but producer. The rhythmic running sounds of yes, Jack the producer. Yeah, you would have to know the what that was to recognize it. Like you'd have to know. Well, oh yeah, Jack well, runs well. during this time. <laughs> that's true. Yes, the rhythm of the producer. Um. Anyway, we're coming out of break, Sarah. Sh- should I should I talk about our yes. our announcements? Yes, for announcements. Yes, please. Would you care to announce our new contest, yeah. JB? I'm excited to share. So, our wonderful <gasps> new Benequactor, who has taken on the mantle of the Benequactor Emeritus Hydro, we have Pasu, our puddle, our pu- pedal. Damn it, our pedal pedaling <laughs> puddle duck. I was I was prepared. Yeah. I wrote it down, and I still petal. didn't get it. Petal, 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 pedaling, puddle duck. I love he it. He has come up with a wonderful uh, 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 giveaway this this week. Uh, Pasu, if you don't know, is of Dutch origin, and he would like us all to appreciate the Dutch painters available in oh. the museum. So mm. if you want, uh, I don't know if it's all three or just three of, I don't know if there's more than three, but if you would like three of the Dutch pieces of art uh, available in the museum, and these are real, you can get, oh my God, I'm not going to be able to read these in Dutch, uh, but the amazing <laughs> painting, Nachtwecht by Rembrandt. Ooh. <laughs> we have the wistful painting, not even going to try that one by Vermeer. <laughs> we have the... Twinkling painting, De Sterenacht by Vincent van Gogh, uh, or Van Gogh, uh, if you're, if you're, uh, over, if you're trying really hard. Um, <laughs> Pasu can correct me all over the place and I will not be offended. Aww. Anyway, if you would like those paintings, again, amazing, wistful, and twinkling. <laughs> um, that sounds you can, great. You can join our Discord and hit the little duck and, and maybe you'll win. Maybe you'll just be randomly Yay. selected to win these delightful paintings. Um, I Leash, how does one join our Discord? I don't know. <laughs> 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 Moving right along. Well, Sarah? <laughs> how do you know? Oh, I want to say <laughs> so, I can do it. She's, she's just razzing you. <laughs> she's just I jab, don't jab. know. <laughs> I'm like forky. You're like yeah. forky, I was about to say. Sarah, have you seen the oh, little no. Forky videos Toy on Story. Disney Plus? Four. Oh, Forky have does these them? like learning. The Ask Forky is it called? F- no, uh, no. Oh. Forky no. asks a question. Forky asks these questions, <laughs> and, and it's something like, "What's a computer?" I don't know. <laughs> and, and, I don't What's know. What's a computer? And, oh, these videos <laughs> are stupid and cute. Sarah, you'll get a kick out of them if you can find them. They might be on YouTube too. I, just I think that sounds yes. Plus. a delight. I'll yes. have to I think you and Tim find. would also. Would I bet he would mm-hmm. enjoy them as well. Yeah. We'll have to watch yeah. them together and <laughs> learn the wonders of Forky's. Well, Wait, is it Forky or Sporky? Forky? It's Forky. It's Forky. Sporky. He it's is Forky. a spork, but okay. he refuses to acknowledge the sporkness. That's part, it's a it's a whole plot of the movie, I think. Right? Trash. I have a problem with that. <laughs> Sporks are very important. <laughs> but okay, okay, I'll give him a chance. I'll give him a chance. Ugh. So the Discord, you guys. Oh, that's the thing we're talking about. Yes. <laughs> to do the contest. Tangent. Oh, man. <laughs> uh, you can you can um, just let us know. <laughs> <laughs> ah! <laughs> Whew. Boy, am I glad we asked you. <laughs> Simplify it really well. So there you have it, folks. No, just let us know. Perfect. Seriously. You can find us on Instagram at the Pocket Pod. You can find us on Twitter at the Pocket Pod. <laughs> you can find us on Facebook <laughs> at the Pocket Pod. Ooh. You can find yes. us on what else am I missing, guys? Gmail. Twitch. <laughs> the, the you find us on Twitch. At yeah. Gmail. Find us on you. Out of the way place to <laughs> to go. I mean, but if, 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 if we are actively Twitch. Twitch streaming at the time, you can yeah. comment and ask like, us. Oh, by the way, hey, can guys, I join your Discord? I've been meaning <laughs> to join your Discord. <laughs> to definitely email um, us. You can do that. The Pocket Pod. You can also email us at mm. the Pocket Pod, right? Yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> the Pocket Pod at gmail.com. It's true. 
Did I do it? Um, I, will, it I will tell you, if you request um, on YouTube, we will not uh, respond to those because those comments are public. So find a way to DM us in the other places <laughs> and request yes. request it. Please. Yeah. Yes. Make those requests known and you will be rewarded with a invitation to join the Discord. A very special server. one-time and, use. And our, and our community is the sweetest. And if you are looking are. for anything, they will help you. And if you are just want to share a silly story, they'll be encouraging and sweet. And it's it just, just join. It's sweet. It's the best. Just join. Just do it. Aww. It is. A glowing, a glowing review. Yes. Everyone's very kind. And I would say nobody's greedy or looking to like just make a make a bell or two. No, no, no. It's, it's very collaborative and nice. It's collaborative and sweet. Yeah. yeah, it's a good and place. I'm stuck on your island somewhere, Joelle, and I can't. <laughs> well, give me a landmark, and I'll help you out. Well, <laughs> no, I I know where I am. I mean, contextually, I know where I am. I'm just physically stuck. Like I can't. <laughs> <laughs> so can't so can't while while you're getting unstuck, I will like I would like to share a very special shout out that's happening right Ooh, now. Ooh, I'm I'm ready. Who's okay. it for? <clears throat> Are we going to say that before or after? I didn't think about that. After. Oh, well, well here, why don't, why don't we introduce what this shout out is and then Sarah will talk okay. about the shout and out. And how do you then... get one? We can talk about how you get one. Yes, exactly. That like That's what I was thing. thinking. So I can start with this is a sure. very special Patreon shout out. If you are a Patreon yes. member, you can tell us what kind of shout out you want and we'll do anything, including what you're about to hear. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I mean, within reason. I within guess reason. we still do get we w- a, a yeah. Say <laughs> we reserve. We, do, we, we do, reserve uh, negotiation rights. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Um, but it can be as simple as a birthday, or it can oh, be yeah. as extravagant as. This is a very special announcement brought to you all the way from the capital. Love the Hunger Games books and films. Always wanted a guided tour of Pan Am by Caesar Flickerman himself. Lo is giving you the opportunity to walk through and learn about the districts, see a small recreation of one of the arenas, chat to some real-life victors, meet Hamish Abernathy and Effie Trinket, and much more. This experience is only available for a limited time, so what are you waiting for? Sign up for a free Pan Am tour today. Starting on Saturday, 5th September, this Saturday, (laughs) tours will be held every other weekend throughout September and October. Each tour will be limited to seven guests, and you'll be able to choose the date which you would like to attend. The date and time of each tour will be confirmed in the PocketPod Discord events channel. Happy Hunger Games, and may the odds be ever in your favor. A dream address will be released after the tours are over. Tours will be conducted using voice chat channel and pocket pod discord and will last about an hour. Sincerely Lobo, Chester, and Leaf. <laughs> so yeah, and, that was special. <laughs> yeah. And so 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 Leash, who who was that announcement from? It was from our dear listener and friend Lo. Yeah. And Lo was right again. <laughs> It was no one other than Lo, I promise you that. (laughs) It was like a long pause, I got nervous. Sorry. (laughs) Um, Uh Uh-huh, yes, that was. I was waiting if you were going to say more, but yes, yes, that was from Lo. (laughs) You are correct. Um, Yeah, I I, I love that. I was a quiz. Yeah. (laughs) I think (laughs) I wasn't expecting, like, that awesome idea, but I hope other people are inspired by this and have us do other fun announcements of things they've done on their Island tours, dream addresses, whatever it is that you want us to share animal crossing related. We're happy to do that. Or maybe something special. Well, yeah. If you, if you need help, we can help you like brainstorm (gasps) too. We'd be happy to do Mm -hmm. that. Sure. Um, But yeah, yeah. I like this idea. Yep. We also like little announcements. So there's that guy. (laughs) That's true. We have a specialist (laughs) in our team that is a, yeah, she we, a bit we of all a... have special hit, special talents that we can uh, <laughs> chew up. Sarah's great with, with our the powers combined. Pocket Pod can make it happen. <laughs> <laughs> make it happen. You and the captain make it yeah, happen. I'm the captain now. Yeah, I'm the captain now. Just kidding. I'm I the love captain. it. Oh, I'm the captain. Been told, but yes, that was fun. Thanks, Uh-oh. Lo. Thanks for Thanks. thank you for supporting our Patreon super fun too. Woo. Yes. Uh, yeah. So that's pretty sweet. I Do you guys it. want to talk about now that we're Sorted with our announcements. How about some tips and tricks and tips and tricks and tips and tricks and tips and tricks and tips tips tricks tips 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 tips
tricks and tricks. And yes. Tricks. yes. <laughs> so don't don't I, leave me hanging. No, just kidding. Oh, Leash, you could do the background vocals for the tips and tricks. Just just keep doing the whole time. Uh, <laughs> Leash is like nothing. <laughs> um, I wanted to share some fun things Please. I discovered this weekend on Saturday. I can't wait. You may or yes. may not have heard about this in the last however many episodes of our podcast, but on Saturday I did celebrate a birthday. I did. <gasps> da, 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 and da, 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 you da. may or may not know that birthdays in Animal Crossing, especially New Horizons, are very special and there's very special things to look forward to. And I'm going to try to avoid too many spoilers because everyone deserves to have some surprises. Who had a birthday? Oh, it was me. <laughs> <laughs> Joey Bowie, you had a birthday? Get it was me. I don't here. know what else to tell you. Get right out of town. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm in my own town and I had a birthday here. And actually, if you're visiting, you can see my little birthday diorama display that I set up yes. outside of Drift's house. <laughs> um, now you must absolutely put walls up around it and so I can look into it and pretend that it is in a tiny box and I will be very happy that it's a diorama. Um, that could be arranged. I have plenty of simple panels. I can make this happen. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Love it. Um, but what I what I learned was that you, you do receive a, a several different gifts, which is fun. Um, there's, there's more than one event um, mm, I learned, I don't think this is a spoiler. I learned that the host of your birthday event is the oldest person or not the oldest, but like the longest person living Most on your island. Your oh. Islander. You guys had birthdays oh. so early in the game. You might not have noticed that, but <laughs> I can, I can tell you my host was I'll Rasher. And pictures. I was like, I was like, that's right. Rasher's been on my island the longest. And then, mm-hmm. and then Tex and Merengue were the other attendees Aww. and they were my second and third longest um <gasps> nice. residents that makes of my sense island that my original yeah. my ogs were in mm-hmm. my birthday yeah mm-hmm. yeah so that was a fun little thing i discovered um the other thing i learned is that um at some point in your birthday you collect a bunch of cupcakes and mm-hmm. you're supposed to use those cupcakes to get birthday surprises and i won't tell you all the things but (gasps) what i learned Mm. is that there's there's certain communications you you make with the villagers on your island and you go and you talk to them and if you are prompted to give them a cupcake give them a freaking cupcake (gasps) there and then and if you if you if they don't prompt you for a cupcake don't give them a cupcake because they will not give you a present in return i gave julian I gave Julian uh-huh. a cupcake and he uh-huh. didn't even give me anything. Not even just like oh, a random no. shirt. Thanks. <laughs> oh, my and God. He was like, Julian, Thanks. of all How did you friends. know I was hungry? Um, there may also be, be so- like, if they're, like, he was in Nooks. And I don't know if that had something to do with it. Like, if you're in oh. Nooks, I don't know if that's part of the issue. So I, I recommend avoiding, like, anyone that's, like, in in a different activity. Maybe that was the problem. Yeah. Um, Maybe he was looking to purchase something. He didn't want a cupcake. Right. Well, he, he was very happy to accept the cupcake. Ah, um, he's still he's so polite. He's just so nice. I was very lucky that I had a cupcake in my inventory because Leash gave out cupcakes a, a while back. And I never <gasps> yeah. knew what to do with it. I just sort of held on to it. And Aww. I was like, I just wasted a cupcake, but I want my final <gasps> object. So I ran and got mm-hmm. my cupcake out of my storage. I gave it to, oh, I had to give it to Norma. I was very angry about that. <gasps> of all the people, I had to give it to Norma. And she gave me my final, my final gift. So. Oh my gosh. So this is really exciting because I wasn't sure about what makes the gift, like what gives you the special return gift from giving them a cupcake. Um, when I started, since my birthday was very early on, mm-hmm. it was in May. So I hadn't been playing mm-hmm. too long and I hadn't made the best friendships with my animals. Right. I presumed that I didn't get gifts from all of them because I wasn't good enough friends with all of them. Right. That could be part um, of it too, though, actually. So, yeah. But, I wonder if I just might have given them a cupcake Preemptively unprompted. Given them a cupcake. Yeah, like yeah. So yeah, problem. if you just if you just blew the cupcakes on the wrong communication, yeah. yeah. I just was like communa cupcakeation. I was miscommuna <laughs> cupcaking. <laughs> yep, yep but, um, it was a miscommuna cupcake. Yep. I I did see your birthday diorama, and I am I was so excited to see all the birthday gift options because I received. Yeah. A few. I think I got maybe up to th- three or four items, but oh. you had some. Some I, there's there's eight I in total. Was, oh my gosh, really? That's so many. Yeah. So was the may I say one of the items and ask yes. if it was the final one? Sure. Was the sign the final item? Um, not for me. So it might not even yeah. be an order of items. It might yeah, I don't. I don't really order. remember the order that well, but I can tell you the sign was not the last. I want to say the thing next to the sign was the last. Um, oh, yeah. 
what yeah. was next to it. Mm. I'll have to look at the but yeah, setup. Again. As I clicked at <laughs> all my things, I then ran inside my house and made three um, iron tables really quickly so that I could <laughs> put my dis- my display Aww. together and then I could take my cute photos. So I was yes. very happy about that. And if it's you really, so if you if you have already had a birthday and don't mind being spoiled about all the fun birthday shenanigans, I did I did create a YouTube a video and posted it on our YouTube. It's unlisted, oh, so just right. request it and I'll send you the link. Ah, uh, I want to watch it. I will request. I think I might. I can. So cute. Is it you can watch our the YouTube pocket videos okay. on the Pocket Pod account. <laughs> I don't need to request it. If you I can log in insight. to our Pocket Pod account, Sarah and Leash, <laughs> uh, you can watch it without give, me giving you the link. <laughs> I have special insider privilege. Yeah. I have to say thank you. But um, I also shared it in Discord at some point but it's probably buried Uh, now I think I did see that yes I do recall and I seem to be trapped here this is exciting I'll figure (laughs) out how to get out in a minute um, um, I, there's, the thing oh, standing ahead. next to the sign is one yeah. of the items I also got. So I think the item order may be randomized. I think it might and, be. Yeah. It may be like each animal. Like if you, if you talk to the animals in a certain order, you'll get them in that order. I don't know. I've, pff, who knows? I think there's <laughs> also two items that you wear on your head that do not appear in your diorama. Um, that's right. Because I did, <laughs> I did wear those items and I did not yes. place them afterwards. <laughs> they are now in my inventory. Yes. I am legitimately stuck in between the lamp, the tree and the table in your birthday <laughs> diorama. I'm here forever. I'm just going to settle down and enjoy my life. It's where not I working. Now. Sarah, I'm trying to pull the lamp away. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for trying to rescue me, Leash. Oh, uh, great. I appreciate it. But I'll I may have just threw just apples on your head. Apples on your head. <laughs> 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 maybe that'll let me escape. Nope. Yeah, maybe. Who knows? Maybe I'm I should move so up. you're not stuck anymore. I'm but sorry. I, Sarah. I, don't, I don't think it's you. Um, anyway, so I'm excited that you got to experience the birthday stuff. I know yeah. that me and Leash both very much enjoyed our experience. Yes. And, and um, thank you guys so much for not telling me too much about it. I don't think you told me much. I found stuff because it, spoilers are hard to avoid. But that's thank fair. you for not spreading those secrets. And I was able to see Aww. some of the stuff I didn't know was going to happen. It was very fun. Oh. For sure. Uh, we know you like being surprised, so we tried to keeping it yeah. as discreet and secret as possible. Um, um, I just am amused at my character that's yeah. running in place right now. She tries to escape this prison of a lamp, a tree, you know, and a beautiful birthday table. If you really can't get out, I will chop down that tree for you. Maybe you can like sit down. No, and don't. Out. Don't. No need to do that. That's don't that's dear. that's too much. I can watch the stars from right here. I'm going to look up at the sky. Easy. It's going to be awesome. <laughs> This is this is I'm fine. This is fine. <laughs> this is fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. No problem. There's a tree um, behind me. Everything's fine. There was one more thing of trees. Related. Yes. Oh. I love yes. that we both went there, Joelle. Tree. Um, oh, wait, did you say birthday related or tree related? Yeah, this is birthday she related. Birthday. Oh, Not my bad. Cause, same. Because there is one more thing that I think we just need to very just be explicit about for future oh. birthdays, right? Yes. So yes. Oh, yes. Yes, that is one. Yes. So if so if you didn't know when a friend of yours is having a birthday, if you visit mm. their island when KK is yes. present, you can talk to KK and KK will in ask the, you. In the month yes. before. The month, prior. Yes. The in, month in the month. Of, so yeah. how does it work if your birthday is early in the month? Like you guys have birthdays in the first you know, week of I, the month. I'm not sure because I, I, I just assumed it was the week before. I didn't know you had a full month. So at least the week before. Because like if your birthday is on the first – I would hope you get the whole month before, or at least a week before or something. So we don't know the specifics on that. Maybe someone can correct us. But the point is, well, s- at least Sarah, a week before you, your birthday. You did yours like three weeks before Joelle's birthday, right? Yeah, yeah, for sure. It was before It was before Joelle's birthday. You're asking if it's just like a month, like yeah, early like, in the month? I'm lucky that so my birthday's on the, on the but 29th. But if your birthday's on the 1st, right. then you would never have a chance. So I would hope then, so it's then gotta KK be before. would prompt you before. Yeah, like in the month before. Well, that that's going to be have to have to be a probably how we'll find out. Um, we just have to find somebody who has an early in the month birthday yeah. and then go and see it before. Because I didn't even try for leashes until but like the week we, before because I just assumed week. We, right. I do want to be very specific because we haven't actually explained what what, what oh, we need to do. Please be so. specific. <laughs> so <laughs> it's when you visit your is friend's island. <laughs> you go and talk to KK and KK will immediately prompt you and say, hey, you know, your, your buddy's having a birthday. Would you like to leave them a message? And then you can leave them a message and then they are surprised by that message and who left them one. Even if they know messages are coming, you can still surprise mm-hmm. them because they don't know that you left them a message or they don't know what you said. Right. So it's still, you won't know it's still very special. Message. It is a treat um, and, and it's, so a, it's a delight. And so Sarah and Leash both left me very sweet messages, <gasps> which I very much appreciate. Oh, it was adorable. Yay. Um, so I recommend everyone them. do that for their friends. If you know a birthday's yeah. coming up, visit on a KK day and surprise what them. What a treat. 
And you know what? It doesn't hurt if you're visiting someone's island on a, on a Saturday. Just go and talk to KK just in case because you never know if their birthday might be that month, even if it's a rando it's stranger. Right. That'd be kind of fun. Yeah, it's true. It's not a bad idea. Yeah. Just throw it out there. In fact, I think just- um, Sarah and I both uh, surprised our, our buddy, our, our podcast friend, yes. uh, 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 Brewster's Roost. We both popped yes. over on his yeah. island when, when it was open and left him a surprise birthday message. That was and fun. He very much appreciated it. And I was, so, very, actually, you know. I was actually very thankful that KK had a Monday <laughs> the week before, a uh, we, uh, Monday visit the week before Joel's birthday yeah. because I missed the Friday. Um, yes. I wouldn't have been able to do it. And mm, then he showed up on Monday and I was like, I'm gonna it was do it. perfect. I'm going to do it. I'm doing it. Perfect. So I did. Yes. I was very I'm excited. glad you guys, you guys you both out. made it. It was very special. And then my internet crashed <gasps> and I was like, well, yeah. I hope this stayed because I'm not coming <laughs> Yeah, yeah that, that was great. You definitely booted yourself. It was a whole mess, but it worked because I got the message. So yay. Yay. <laughs> yay. Everything worked out in the end. Everything is the awesome. Best. Uh, anyway, Sarah, you had a tips and tricks you wanted to share. Oh, yes, I did. Sorry. Yes, and uh, I need to learn this one. This Please is a great one, me. Leash. So in the, the video, secrets. you may have seen, if you watched the video from Nintendo, you saw that you could shake a tree and a pine cone might fall out right away or an acorn might fall out right away when you shake the tree. I need to let you know that you can shake that tree multiple times because like with branches, you will get many fallings of items. It could be branches, it could be acorns from a hardwood tree, or it can be pine cones and branches from a pine tree so keep on shaking and yep. uh just, you can get lots of away. items i yeah, just keep have on yet to see how often do they come out um uh, are they frequent because i have yet to see a freaking so I, branches and branches and then more branches it's it, it can be just a lot of branches i definitely got like probably 10 times as many branches as i got any yeah. acorns and pine cones i've gotten few yeah. pine cones so far and equal, and still also fairly few, um, few acorns. I've I gotten. I was curious. I've oh, gotten yeah. fewer acorns and pine cones personally. I've gotten. I've had more luck with pine cones. So like, oh. I'll shake the. I'll shake. I'll get. I don't know how many times I shook, but I can tell you, I had like sixty sticks, or whatever, in my in my inventory, and I had uh-huh. like six pine cones and like three acorns so like like that that seems to be my average like i'll get two pine cones for every one acorn and then i'll get like 30 sticks for every two pine cones and one oh, acorn. Like, i feel like definitely hearing you on the stick proportions that they're just like massively more than the acorns like a, like a one just, oh, acorns and yeah. pine cones and i really want all the pine cones because guys today i got the pine cone the pine bonsai diy that i've long oh. yearned for forever that i did have sweet friend manjapan gave me one of the pine uh, bonsais which was very nice so i had one in advance mm, in my house yeah. but now i can make all of them <laughs> well once oh, i collect the awesome. i do have an extra cherry blossom um bonsai if either of you need it for your nice thanks. for your i've been hanging on to some craft got two still Yes, because the bonsai table has the needs the yes. cherry bonsai and the pine bonsai that do not appear on the actual table. I think is that correct? It's so weird. Yeah, Lo, Lo has <laughs> it in her library, and it's oh. definitely oh, nice. it, it's it's different. It's not what I expected given the materials. <laughs> oh, but it's well, cool I'm looking. Delighted. I I'm excited. It's it's great. It's going to be good. It's going to be great. I'm very excited to learn what other kind of DIYs there may be on the way that involve pine um, cones. And, and, and speaking of tips and tricks related to these, so so Sarah, you're saying shake, 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 shake. Yes, Lo had keep a very shaking. helpful. Lo had a very helpful tip in Discord that I I could add to this. Yes, and what, share it, I, please. I guess what she's done is she's she's picked two trees on her island and made sure there's like a, a f- like full clearance of fourteen ah. squares of, of space mm. around it. So that's like mm. two nice. two rows of of, of squares, and those, mm. and she just focuses on those two trees and she shakes them until all the squares are filled up. Go oh. go attack both sides, get your get your stoof, and then yeah, then you don't have to run around and shake all the trees. You just shake those two trees, and you know, no matter what, the numbers are going to be about the same because it's all random. So you and don't have to you, shake all your trees unless you want to. Right, and that's a great situation if you are not a fan of chasing down the wasps that can fall out of the trees. Oh, mm-hmm. speaking of which, um, this is something, I, a bit of a tip, that yeah. it's not all bad if you get stung twice, because this has happened to me, and I hadn't, <laughs> I hadn't had that happen yet. So if you get stung twice, you do get knocked out, but you also get a Nook Miles achievement for getting knocked out. 
Oh by yeah, wasps. just but just the first time, just the one time. <laughs> it only has I've to happen been once. Out, like yeah, probably. <laughs> In, in the first times. in the first month, Fair I got enough. knocked out daily until I learned the like the, the proper stance. So it's, it's less it's less awesome after the first time. That's fair. So and then <laughs> I've been some ha- medicine been in trouble. your hand, on your pockets. Yeah. I've been having trouble. Lately I don't. Because I just of, wander around and have people like Freya. Almost always will give me medicine. Oh, almost what a sweet every single friend. time. She's the only one that like That's will so consistently special. give me medicine. That is good. I'm too lazy to. It. I'm like I'll just walk around like this until someone. Can. And most <laughs> most of my villagers are like, wow, you look like really what the hell happened to you? And <laughs> and I was like, well, you could be giving me medicine right now. Like, you don't have to like, just comment on my face. That's you know, not nice. I've been wearing wow. sunglasses a lot lately and they haven't been commenting on the, because I've been running around with this on my face for, for days because this keeps happening because of the way I have my trees configured. I can't stand in front because I have too much crap everywhere. Oh, <laughs> so gotcha, I end gotcha. up like not being able to get the wasps and it's a whole <gasps> mess. So I walk around with these, you know, swollen eyes all the time. They don't say anything. I'm wearing like the shade, the ladder shades right now. They oh, haven't said anything. Interesting. And I thought they, they used to say something when you they wear sunglasses. Do. Yeah, they normally but do. They're not they used to. They're, they're not telling these. me I look like garbage. So I don't know. Well, after you go to sleep, it goes away, right? Isn't yeah. that true, Sarah? Yes, that's like, true. Yeah, so, so the case. Yeah, I woke up this morning with fresh eyes. Just go on a, a little a little dream uh, dream adventure in the dream, dream suite if you want, dream. and then you have fresh be refreshed. Oh, so any sleep will do. I see. Not just like yeah, overnight. I think. Okay. Oh yeah. Any true yeah. sleep. <laughs> not just like laying in bed and being not like, just oh, pretending falling over in a bed rolling a few you have times to, you have and to coming go back and up talk again. To Luna. okay <laughs> you can't toss and turn you can't do the classic rolling in bed leash move and just expect your right. eye to be healed got it right, right, right. correct right. that's fair that's <laughs> i get you so a little more involved but still yeah. not bad that's a good pro tip to yeah. sleep it off sleep it off <laughs> so once again i'm asking for your tiny delights Sky rockets in flight. Do 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 do. Tiny delights. Do 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 do. Tiny delights. Tiny delights. Tiny delights. Yes, <laughs> tiny delights. Joel, you have many tiny delights to share. Would you care to set one upon us, and then I'll give my one, and then you can give two more. <laughs> yeah. So my first tiny yes. delight was the absolute delight of waking up on the first morning <gasps> of Virgo stars on my beach. And discovering that the Virgo stars are a beautiful shade of light purple. And I was like, well, they were meant for me. Thank you, Virgo stars. <laughs> so thanks, Nintendo, meant for, for JB. understanding. JB's a Virgo. JB got purple stars. We're all we're all happy now. What is your it's- color? What is your stone color? Well, I'm an August baby, so my stone is a peridot. If I was born in mm. September, it would be sapphire. So either way, not purple. Oh, neither of them. No. <laughs> neither of them are the matching thing. I think we've discovered that. They just, that whole thing, because we had a theory, I think Taurus was green, so we were like, maybe they'll be matching the mm-hmm. birthstones of the... Yeah, they, yeah nope. it doesn't seem to be gemstone. It, it, maybe it's somewhat related to astrology colors. I don't know if those have a thing. I have no idea. Or they just uh, randomized it. Who knows? They just are just some pretty. pretty colors. This, this purple is a <laughs> lovely shade of, of Virgo. <laughs> I don't know. It's a lovely shade of Virgo. <laughs> purple is a lovely shade of Virgo. I think we can yeah. all agree on that. <laughs> but, uh, so... Delighted. I was also delighted to see the color of the Virgo fragments. Uh, but because you get what me. else? <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, I was like perfect for JB. It makes perfect sense. Sarah, Shade. what was your tiny delight? My tiny delights was when we were hanging out on the island. We had a few friends over, and it just happened an impromptu bit of t- everyone pulling out their magic wands and b- getting their t- King Tut mask on and just running around <laughs> like a bunch of crazy people. And boy, oh boy, was that a delight. So thank you to everyone oh, who participated in that was, that was the, just being goofballs. That was one of my tiny delights because I, I, I woke up <gasps> that morning and or it was it morning or afternoon, whatever. But either way, I, I looked at my phone and it said, Rar is, or, or Pocket Pot is streaming. Rar is up to shenanigans. And I was like, <gasps> so I had to go and watch. I just watched. I didn't, I wasn't, I didn't partake. It was very exciting. And Aww. then I went over to your island and then we yes. had fun tut racing and it stuff. It was delightful. Fun, su- fun surprise of silliness. But yes, so it's those Tom, the Tom, Tom Tut. Hmm. The yeah. long, long lost relative of King Tut, to good old Tom Tut. Tom <gasps> Tut. It's Tom Nook in the King Tut mask. Is that oh a possibility? Oh my god! How cute would a, would a King Tut mask that looks like Tom Nook be? 
Ooh, right. That like it, it has like the, like the Tom Nook <gasps> shaped face, but oh, it has like the King Tut like that. like he- headpiece with the you know the. Stuff. Mm, mm-hmm, yes, I totally. Stuff. Mm-hmm. I get what you're saying, and I'm I'm making it happen in a very loose. Oh, Sarah's right now. drawing it. I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yes, Tom Tom Tut. I recommend Tom anyone Tut. get involved in Tut racing whenever you're just not sure what to do. Just just you know, a a we gave you this tip weeks ago. Save your Tut mask in your in your wand, like always ready to go. Yes. Throw on your, your tut costume when other people, and then just start running, racing, <laughs> running into each other, dive bombing into each other. I can't, I can't explain how delightful it is. If you want to see what we're talking about, watch the last like 30 minutes or so of our most recent stream on our Twitch uh, feed, which is, it'll be available for another month or so. So enjoy. Yes. Enjoy it. It is truly a delight. It is a tiny yeah. delight. It is a large delight. It is all the sizes of delight. <laughs> it's, a, it's, it's a giant oh. head of a delight, actually. Um, yeah, I, it sure is. A heavy head of delight. I had two other tiny delights. Um, Please. So the other day, I've been noticing this more and more, actually, that I never noticed this before. You know, when your villagers are talking to each other and you get to kind of listen yes. in on their silly conversations about oh, what which books I they're reading or fashion choices mm-hmm. or learning new lessons. Yes. Most recently, more than once, I overheard the conversation that happens when they give the catchphrase to the other. Oh, so when, when they pass along this. the catchphrase. So like I gave... Yes. I, you know, I, I gave a knuckle puck to, to puck because knuckle he reminds puck. me of the, of the, of the knuckle puck kid in uh, uh mighty ducks too. And <laughs> which I th- was that Keenan too? <laughs> I think that was Keenan. I don't Kenan. remember seeing two. I just remember one. <laughs> that was when they, uh, the, the mighty ducks two was the one where they went to the junior Olympics. So it's very important to nope. me, obviously. Hey, I get it. Um, <laughs> all, all Olympics, that wins on all the- Say no more. Tick in the boxes for JB. Winter sports, <laughs> Disney movie, Olympics, kids. It was everything. It was ticking on the boxes. You're absolutely right. Uh, the Mighty Ducks was the best. Anyway, um, <laughs> Knuckle Puck was a uh, a move by I think I think it was Keenan. I could be wrong. Um, nice. Uh, anyway, uh, I because of that I gave Puck Knuckle Puck as his catchphrase, and then I overheard the conversation where he was giving his catchphrase. I forget to who. Now several oh people gosh. say Knuckle Puck. Um, but like it actually, the whole, the whole conversation is really cute. So I just recommend talking or listening in on villager conversations because they might be different than ones you've heard before. Because these were that is something I hadn't seen before or heard before. Hmm. An excellent recommendation. Yeah. yeah. Oh um, my gosh. And then my other tiny delight is something yes, only I have experienced, but I recommend it to anyone that visits Lowe's Island of Hesse. Oh, yeah. Not Panem, which is a which is her <laughs> other island with the special tours, but yes. Hessa is a little bit more open to our Discord community. If you go visit Lowe's Island on Hessa and you take the fire starter challenge, you may find yourself at home with a, with a special gift if you win the fire starter <gasps> challenge. What? This sounds exciting. Mm. What is this? Oh the my gosh! What fire geez. starter challenge. I I started it a long time ago when Lo what? first uh, uh, did her fun little. Um, she 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 got her fire fireman costume fire person costume oh, yes. and she, she got it all set up and she took a photo of uh, her putting out one of the fires on her beaches and so the oh. next time i visit her island I, t- I i i i inflamed all of her fires that i could find <laughs> and then oh, it's become a tradition i do that every time i visit her island i i, I go and find oh. all of her fires but a, a few weeks ago she she messaged me and she's like you know it's been really funny you've been turning all the fires on except for one you keep missing one and i was like <gasps> where is it like I, I had absolutely no idea um her island is a is a beautiful little maze that i don't know how to navigate even though i visited it many times <laughs> um anyway so most recently she's updated her island again she added more fires to it that i could turn on what? and and i came over and i was like i'm gonna find them all this time and it took me a really long time and and then the one I still couldn't find was the one I kept missing for weeks and weeks. And oh I finally gosh. found it. And she <gasps> she was very excited. She cheered me on. She had to go and turn oh. off all of her fires after I left. And then when I got <laughs> home, I had a very special prize in the mail. I think it was the next morning. So what? I highly recommend if you just want a fun little excursion on Hessa, ask Lo if you can take the fire starter challenge. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds delightful. <laughs> Man, sounds like a missed opportunity for an announcement. I know, oh. you're probably right, but this was more of a, a tip or, or, or a tiny delight slash tip and trick for me. That's so awesome. Oh, 
Well, I love it. And I think that's very creative. And I love hearing all these fun adventures, <laughs> fun, creative adventures that people yeah. can enjoy. Yeah, and the or be inspired out. by to create on their own ta- island for sure. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, I see leaves shaking trees all over the damn place. I see that. Oh my that. gosh. Okay. Trees, so now the pine cones are coming out. Yeah. But still the ratio is about It's like one what one see. to ten? One to yeah. It one evens 12. out now to one to ten, but like I had shaken yeah. branches on my own island before coming over to yours, and I probably shook thirty. Yeah. With it, nothing. But so you like, know what? After shaking 30, you probably would have gotten seal. like three in a row. <laughs> now that yeah. I broke the seal, I'm doing okay. I have yeah, I've actually noticed, as random as it all is, I've noticed that some trees just produce more than others. So if Ooh. if you're on a tree that's just very like, just not giving you anything, it's even light on sticks, just go to a different tree. And oh, okay. I, I found like if I give up on a tree and the next tree is a little bit more active, they'll get pine cones more often. Just... I don't know. I oh. think some, some trees I have are 113 slower. twigs. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That's a lot of twigs. <laughs> and of 13 twig. pine cones. Oh, you, wow. you really are proving that with that one to 10 ratio. That's yeah. pretty solid. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Not too shy. Well, there you go. I mean, hey, sounds like it's a, our, your theory was correct, Joel. <laughs> yes. I have a I have an impromptu tiny delight. Oh, yay. Leash, what's your tiny I, delight? I shared it in I shared it in our Slack earlier, but it was oh. a note from Stitches this afternoon <gasps> that I received. Yes. Oh. I that Would you like to read the your note? Cutest. Yes. Please Give me do. I'm going to pull them up. I missed it. Oh, I'm excited. Um he sent me a beautiful fall stationery with an Love acorn. It. And he said <laughs> It's sideways. Yeah, I'm just going to that. I've literally turned my head so I can read it. Yeah. Do you like how this pop... Oh, sorry. Do you like how this postcard smells? I dipped it in gravy. Then licked the gravy off and sent it to you. Man, I love smells. Stitches. <laughs> oh, my God. That's so freaking cute. So perfectly sweet. Oh, what oh, a great Stitches voice. I love it. I love those I love little buds. He dipped buds. it in gravy. And he keeps... Yeah forgetting where he put something in his house every time i talk to him oh. he's like i forgot i forgot where i put the hummus i forgot where i put the mayonnaise he's like i don't or maybe my hummus went bad i don't know why i keep putting it in a moist place a moist dark place and i don't know why <gasps> oh my gosh <laughs> you're trying to grow my he said it about hummus he said about hummus yeah. today he said it about mayonnaise before like, wow he just <laughs> Poor uh, bud. He's condiments. He keeps hiding them in moist, dark places. It's and wonders why they, it's very like, problematic. Oh. Um, today, oh. I, I gave Puck a, a bug of some kind, and he thanked me and said, I've been looking for new bugs. The ones in my house are being real jerks lately. <laughs> oh. I love it. I love like, the comments okay. about bugs and weird food items. <laughs> the, la- the lazy animals are really just a kick. I love them. I love them. So em. precious. Keeping cutest. chocolate in their pockets so it gets nice and gooey. Oh, that's a little barreled. <laughs> yeah. Oh, sweet barreled. He's I love, the cutest. I love so much. I feel like barreled and stitches would get along. Really oh, well. they would. Because we could like have oh, play, dates. Br- play dates. Play dates. For friends. Play dates for play friends. Dates. Play dates. Bring, them, bring friends. them when you travel. Right? Like, do you like, want to come with me over to, to P- Rara's Island? Oh, my island? gosh. Yes. Come with me to- Puck would love to meet stitches too. Puck would be yeah. a huge stitches fan. You could have a little play date with our lazy it. friends. I love it so much. It'd be so cute. Oh, I, th- it's just just seeing them together would make me smile one hundred percent. I just want to see their little conversations that they have about mayonnaise and yeah, and chocolate I wonder, in their pockets. They're like they can relate and. If you can fill your island with like one type, so you fill your island with lazy types, then you get to see what all those conversations are like all the time. Those the shared oh, moments. Joelle, funny you should mention that because I am definitely considering making my little Niktal might grow to be a lazy villager island. <laughs> just a <laughs> just a so slow island, lazy villager just island. Talking about bugs all ding dong day. All the um, ding dong day. Looking at bugs mm. outside <laughs> and then having snacks. Snacks all the time. Yeah. Snacks, bugs, talking about weird stuff, and I would love Boots it. Boots and snacks. Bugs and snacks. I, I, I and also just love that they always snacks. talk about snacks. Like when I visited someone or something, they said, I can't wait for Joey Bowie to come back, with, and I hope she brings snacks. Like they're just <laughs> <laughs> high expectations for true, snacks. <laughs> true to form for our sweet, dear friends. Well, so I feel like snacks, if 
if there's any place to end on a, a podcast, why not end on a high note of snacks and bugs and gravy scented postcards? <laughs> it's been a it's been a great conversational fun time talking about our autumnal beginnings mm-hmm. and new horizons. Mm-hmm. Guys, would you like to do a little background music and I will mm-hmm. mention some birthdays? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh-huh. So uh-huh. first of all. I know this was a birthday toward the end of the month, but we got to mention mm-hmm. our dear friend Joey Bowie's birthday. Mm-hmm. We're happy we could participate mm-hmm. and uh, visit mm-hmm. on and off and then hear about her birthday adventures. So shout out to JB. Mm-hmm. But we also had some other little friends. Uh, Bangle. Oh, Bangle's birthday was this month. That's a favorite from, I think that was on Joey Bowie's Island and Leisha's Island, if I remember correctly. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Leash rejected uh, her. Never brought Leash her. did yeah, reject she's, her. She's in um, a hard pass. Mm-hmm. Speaking of rejections from Leash, or Leash, I believe that Chrissy's birthday is also this month. Great. Her birthday or it was in August. Right. We're month. almost birthday twins. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Oh, and mm-hmm. sweet Audie, our new wolf mm-hmm. friend, named for the grandma that plays Animal Crossing, was also uh, recently. Uh, we have Flo, a penguin that I don't think I've met in Animal Crossing yet. Uh, sweet Maggie, a little pig. Uh, also Spork, a lazy pig. A little bit of a wacky looking guy. Oh, oh, Greta, my recent, she left not too long ago. She was on my island, but happy birthday, Greta. Oh, Tucker, or as we like to call him, Tusker, Tusker. the elephant. Just, well, she's short. <laughs> <laughs> she loves so many oh. of them. What are you going to do? Right? Oh, sorry. Uh, and of course, shout out to our producer, Jack Quaid Blank of Monkey Cat Studios. Yeah. Ready? <laughs>